is Julia Waldorf, JuliaWaldorf.com. Well, here I am, reading my favorite magazine, Time. We are Americans. You know these poor guys. You know, there's Jose Antonio Vargas. He publicly revealed his undocumented immigrant as an undocumented immigrant. Not shipping away, they're actually putting him in time, <laughs> which is okay. I think it's okay. I like the guy. He's honest, he's straightforward, and telling the truth. He was here, brought here to live with his parent, his grandparents when he was 12, I guess, and lo and behold, he, you know, went to high school, college, he has a kind of a driver's license, I guess, and has to lie about his home. This is his home. He's been here since he's been 12, and now they're tightening up the rules, saying, hey, you don't belong here. Go back home. Well, no, home is here. What do you mean I can go back home? So they come up with this conclusion. If you are an immigrant, you have to join the military and risk your life for your country. If you're a kid that was here for, I don't know, what is it, more than five years, then you're off the hook and you can join the military or go to school or go to college or wherever, high school. You have to be in school or you have to be in our system. <laughs> we not only want your taxes, I think that was the plan from the get-go, because if it wasn't, why would they allow all these people to come on over and educate them? Because that's what they've done. I went to a college class, and there was about 200 people in there. And ironically enough, they said, how many people are here that are um, immigrant or, you know, Spanish, their history is Spanish or Mexican, that are going to college on a grant because they're Mexican? I bet three quarters of the class stood up. They didn't look Mexican. Of course, they're mixed Mexican, but... You know, what the heck? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, and they're all stand up and they're getting a free education, all right? Because they are Mexican. Now, what's wrong with that? Okay, tell me that. Tell me that. You get free babies and a free education if you're white in this country and your, your family is actually born and raised and you're born and raised and you're white, blonde hair, blue eyed like me. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Trying to um, get a free baby and a and a free education, <laughs> free health. And I don't know, as far as I'm concerned, it's real obvious to me that they just wanted to get people in the military, uh, mandatory, and it was a premeditated thing, and to go to college so then they can get taxes. Um, they could have put the wall up long time ago. Let's face it, uh, who, who, are they, who are they kidding? And they wanted people to keep the wages down um, because Otherwise, they would have to pay the carpenters that really deserve to get paid, um, you know, good money. I don't know. What do I know, right? And if, you know what they should do? Yeah, yeah. They should say, hey, everybody step up and pay taxes. You're here, you're here. All right, uh, what are we going to do about it? Be it you've been here for five years or not. If you do have a felony, well, you need to go back home. Or go back to Mexico or Ecuador or wherever you came from the UK, wherever you came from. If you're a felony, leave. Thank you very much. But if you're not, okay, stay. Pay your taxes. You're American. <laughs> if you're a good working, hard, hard working, honest person that's not hurting anybody and just contributing to our society in a community wise way, why not? <laughs> why not? You know, what's the diff? I mean, I originally come from English and Germany, myself, my families, you know, come, that's the background that they came from. Everybody's come from a different country one way or the other, usually. You know, gosh, otherwise we'd be all be Indian, wouldn't we? <laughs> so, we had that attitude. Oh, my. Silly, silly, silly. But, anyway, so why don't they just be up front and say, hey, we want everybody to pay taxes and the felons leave. And then anybody else coming into, into the space... We only issue so much in, in bond. You have to have a bond, please, and bring some money with you so we don't have to educate you and give you health for free. We don't care where you come from. Just We just don't want to educate you or give you health for free. That's all. That's fair. That's a fair shake. That's what they do for Costa Rica. So they go do anywhere. Australia, they, 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 they make it, you know, prove that you're, you know, steadfast and responsible. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Why don't we do that here? It bring in a good cash flow, I would think. <laughs> so, you know, what the heck, all right? 
So anyway, that's my brain thinking today after reading the little article. And um, I hope you all have a good day. And thanks for listening to me uh, chat and chat and chat and chat. Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com. Ciao, ciao.